up at Select Gloves back in, back again with another video. <clears throat> it's been a while, so I'm probably gonna be rusty. Uh, but this is going to be a video on my new pickups. Um, because it's been so long, I've got a lot of them. So I'm gonna start with the first one, uh, which is this. It is a Rawlings Pro Preferred Pro S12 ICBR. Um, I got this on the Glove Works forum. And um, yeah, it's a really nice glove. I've wanted to try these for a while. Um, I just don't want to spend that much on one. So I got this one for cheap, and um, I like it. Um, I don't really have a use for it. I'll probably just end up selling it, but just wanted to try it out. The pattern is definitely 11 and a half. Um, I've seen a lot of people who say that they're 11 and a half, and that is completely true. This totally plays like 11 and a half. Um, but yeah, great glove. This one is also going to be for sale. So you guys can hit me up at Select Gloves. And yeah. Okay, along with uh, that glove, I have a bunch of more pickups. I've got four more. Um, so this one right here is Rawlings Pro and P2JB Jose Reyes. Um, it's all black with the red uh, stitching and the ivory. Well, the ivory. The red logo and the ivory stitching. Um, I really like this glove, honestly. If it was bigger, I might even use it. Um, but it is 11 and a quarter, which um, makes it a little small for me. Um, I definitely say it plays a little bit bigger, probably like 11 and 11.35 11 inches. Um, it's definitely bigger than an 11.25 Wilson would be, that's for sure. So yeah, this is a really nice glove. This one's also for sale. Um, you can hit me up at Select Gloves again with all these gloves. <clears throat> but yeah, feels really nice too in the pink. It's definitely stiff. So yeah, great glove. Just this, these are both just stock gloves too. Nothing very fancy. Okay, um, I'll start with this one. Um, I bought this one also on the Gloveworks forum as well as those other two. Um, it's in 11 and a half inch 1786 that's not gonna work at all but it's that 1786 pro stock uh, this is one of the really old old ones so let me get my flashlight out one sec on the inside it says grip tight pocket and the a2000 um, and it it is 11 and a half. It's all orange tan. It says snap action to right uh, in the palm. And it's got parentheses around the A2000. And yeah, it's a great glove. It was fully relaced and it was given new inserts from Thumb and Pinky. Um, so it's nice and stiff. Um, it's really cool. I just like the old styling of it. And it does have fur. So yeah, I bought this on Gloveworks as well, from a guy that I know on there. Um, it was actually listed on eBay, um, and I ended up emailing the guy, and he said, "Oh yeah, I'm from Gloveworks." And I said, "So you can can you hit me up with a deal?" I ended up buying these two from him. Um, so yeah, this is a made in Japan one. I don't, I don't believe it's a pro issue. Um, just a really older stock model. So yeah, nice glove here. Next two, uh, both of these are not stock. These are both pro gloves. So the first one is this Pro MP5 Pro Department 11 and 3 quarter inch mesh glove. Um, it's got the full mesh back, as you guys can tell. It had a yellow uh, ribbon on the thumb, which was blacked out. The yellow was to support our troops. Um, I didn't black it out. I would definitely would have kept it. <clears throat> but yeah. It's a really nice glove, very stiff, um, and comfortable too. Uh, I got this from Premium Collectors. Um, I'm I'm part of, <clears throat> I'm part owner of the account, but I bought it from one of the other guys on there. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice glove. It, it may it may see some game time. I might just use it for fun. It's a sweet glove. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I really like the mesh though. Um, it's really light. But it definitely doesn't feel as though it uh, lost any durability. 
Uh, with the pro departments, the stiffness is just ridiculous. This isn't even like a Horween, it's just the normal leather. And it's really stiff. So there's that. Okay. Two more. Uh, this one is a Pro Issue 1786 I got from the Glove Collector on Instagram. Jackson. Uh, seems like a pretty chill dude. We ended up Snapchatting <laughs> uh, photos of the gloves to make the deal. And I ended up trading him uh, one of my Inua tags, uh, Pro SPT, for this and Oakley's, which uh, I guess I can I'll, I'll uh, show you those um, after I do the gloves. But yeah, this is really nice. It's pretty much broken in, a uh, little bit of wear. It's got some tar on it, which I really didn't like, but I'm kind of learning to love it. Uh, so yeah, I can. I'll show you that. That's what the pocket looks like. You can see the tar is all the black stuff. And I highly doubt you're going to be able to see in there. You, can, If I had another hand, I could show you. But there's 11 and a half inch uh, stamp in there. Um, it's definitely a pro issue, I'll tell you that. Quality is so much better. And they simply don't make an 11 and a half inch 1786 all tan pattern. So... That's pretty obvious. Um, so yeah, really nice glove here. Last but not least is my Elite Custom uh, glove. I just got this in. I am representing their brand for them. And uh, they sent me a glove uh, for a discounted rate um, just to get it out there. But uh, I, I was really surprised um, by the quality. Um, the glove is ridiculously stiff. You can see that. I can I can't even squeeze it all the way. I mean it's it's crazy stiff. It's got pretty nice kip leather. Um, I wouldn't call it pro preferred quality. Um, it's a little bit drier I'd say. It's not as supple, um, but it's really nice and smooth. It's really stiff. Like I keep saying, um, it definitely holds. It pops right back up. Um, so yeah, you guys can check them out at Elite uh, Elite Ball. Oh wait, let me double check their Instagram. Um, but they have some really nice gloves. Uh, I think, I think, uh, the, this is actually part of the guy's first run. Um, he's kind of starting up the business and, um, and, uh, he like had them make a few different models for him in his, uh, let me find it. Um, here it is. Elite custom glove is their Instagram. The one actually in the profile pic is the one that I ended up buying. There's no way you can see that. Um, but yeah, they've got right now they've got five gloves for sale, um, and they're all really cheap, like one sixty five, one seventy. But these gloves are totally worth it. Super stiff, embroidery is spot on, um, lace is pretty good. Um, it feels a little bit plasticky, but it's definitely really stiff. And it's not like the stiffness where it feels bad, like it's it's still flexible. Um, so it's definitely pretty good lace for a startup company. Definitely better than, at least from what I've heard of 44 Pros, gloves like that. Um, so yeah, this is 11 and a half inch, uh, all black kit. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This is definitely was a good buy on my part. Um, so yeah, I'm going to grab the Oakleys really quickly. Okay, so these are the ones that I uh, got in the trade. They were the San Francisco Oakleys uh, flag jacket, uh, and they had orange ear socks and whatever you call that rubber part. Um, but I replaced it with black because I had leftover ones because I ended up buying a kit. So um, it has all black and then the orange from the that's painted on there I can't fix that <clears throat> and then they have the lenses which are gray and they have like a really small screen imprint that's really hard to see uh, right here you can kinda see it of their of the uh, Giants logo logo but yeah th this is my one of my pairs of Oakley's then I have these um, which are the ones that I wear just 
whenever I need to wear sunglasses. And they were just, I think they were just stock black flak jackets with gray lenses. I got them in a trade a while back and they actually had blue in them. And I switched them out with gold because uh, when I traded for these, they came with gold on them and they had the extra gray ones. I threw the gold ones on here and I really like them. And I also, this is what I replaced the ear socks from because they were torn up. So yeah. And then lastly, I have the ones I actually wear for baseball. Uh, these are really ugly and really old. They are green uh, with black ear socks and orange. They are the really old M-frames. And I just, I love M-frames. I don't want to buy another pair of them. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, check out Elite Custom Glove on Instagram and buy some of their products. I'm pretty sure if they can sell all the gloves, they'll, they'll make a whole line. And these gloves are definitely nice enough to have their own line and be sold um, on a higher level than they are now. So that's pretty much it. Uh, check my Instagrams out, at Select Gloves and at Premium Collectors. That's the best way to reach me or to check out what I'm doing with my glove collection. Um, so yeah, check you guys later.